The biggest problem at the core of it is perception. The biggest problem is perception. First of all, what is happening around me? What are things that I should be concerned about? And how should the car deal with it? The perception problem is at the core a very difficult problem. Well, as it turns out, the moment of Shazam, the Shazam moment, came several years ago. Computer scientists have been trying to fi figure this problem out for a long time. And several simultaneous innovations happened in the early part of this decade that made it possible for us to imagine solving this problem for the very first time. Work that was done by Jeff Hinton at the University of Toronto, Jan LeCun, Andrew Eng at Stanford, uh, Jan was uh, at the New York University, work that they were doing independently um, on artificial intelligence networks came together to solve this problem in a really, really huge way. Jan LeCun's convolution neural net, which makes it possible for programs to detect important features by itself if you gave it enough images, if you gave it enough data, if you gave it enough examples. Jeff Hinton's work on backpropagation and stochastic gradient descent makes it possible for us to train and essentially, through a large amount of examples, program this network by itself to the point where no engineers, no computer, computer vision engineers need to program this network at all. That breakthrough is called deep neural nets. That breakthrough was made possible in the early part of this decade, just several years ago. However, it took an enormous amount of time to train the networks. These networks require trillions and trillions of operations to train. And the training of those networks, just to put it in perspective, took months and months and months. Now, to train a network for several months on a particular data set is largely impractical. Nobody would possibly imagine doing it. Because you need to iterate on it. You need to see if that network was going to do what you think it's going to do. And so the training time took too long. Simultaneously, in those three labs, Andrew Ang's lab, Jeff Hinton's lab, Yan LeCun's lab, and the folks at NVIDIA Research, headed up by Bill Daly, worked together to make it possible to take advantage of the CUDA GPU that we invented to accelerate these neural network training. We were able to accelerate the training by 30 to 40 times. What otherwise would have taken a year to train a network now took a month, or excuse me, took a day, took a week. And so what took a month now took a day. And so it is now possible for us to train these incredibly complex networks on very, very large data sets to recognize objects of all kinds. Deep neural net, deep learning, is a groundbreaking piece of work in computer science, and most people compare it as large of a contribution, a large of a breakthrough, as internet or mobile computing. All of a sudden, the race is on. The, un the unimaginable actually happened in the year 2012. Andre uh, Alex Kershevsky, over at uh, University of Toronto, created this network called AlexNet, and he, he uh, submitted it for the competition of ImageNet. ImageNet is 1.2 million images that you use to train uh, whatever it is, approach that you use, and you're tested on about 100,000 of those images. What was amazing was Alex's network, AlexNet, he never programmed a single line of code necessary to detect specific objects, won the competition of ImageNet in 2012, and beat computer vision architects, computer vision feature detectors, computer vision algorithms, that took the last 20 years to create. AlexNet got the attention of literally everybody in visual computing, everybody who was doing this work. Subsequently, over the last couple, two, three years, more and more submissions happens. And if you look at the blue dots, the blue dots are fe hand-coded features of computer vision. 2012, you see those two, two green dots based on deep learning. Since then, Almost all of the submissions have been based on deep learning. Computer, handcrafted computer vision art approaches no longer can compete. And started this year, later this year, Microsoft and Google announced that their deep neural nets beat the best human recognition in the world. So now, 
deep neural nets has achieved superhuman image recognition capability. This is an enormous milestone. Baidu, just recently, headed up by Andrew Ng's lab in uh, Silicon Valley, announced that Deep Speech 2 was able to beat humans in language recognition. Microsoft worked with China University of Science and Technology, and their deep neural net beat a college student in an IQ test. And so now, we recognize that deep learning is able to achieve superhuman perception capability. Now the question is, how do we harness all of this capability and put it to work in helping to solve the self-driving car problem? Our strategy has three prongs. The first prong of our strategy is to ensure that to work with the entire ecosystem of deep learning and artificial intelligence to make our GPUs able to accelerate the work that is done all over the world around deep learning and AI. Today, these are the frameworks that are offered around the world. Every single one of them are accelerated by CUDA GPUs. By using NVIDIA's GPUs, we can accelerate the training process of deep learning by some 20, 30, 40 times. What otherwise would have taken months to train now can be done in days. And we can, therefore, create faster networks, better networks, more robust networks, and use it for more things. The number of applications that we're seeing around the world as a result of this movement is really quite utterly staggering. If you haven't had a chance to learn about deep learning, just simply you know, type in deep learning or type in uh, modern AI or you know, some search, and you'll discover incredible amounts of work being done in this field. So our first strategy is to develop and work with the entire ecosystem to accelerate every single framework of AI in the world. From Facebook's Big Sur, Google's TensorFlow, IBM Watson, Microsoft CNTK, all of these frameworks are now GPU accelerated. If you're doing deep learning work, if you're doing AI work, and you have a PC or workstation or a server with NVIDIA GPUs in it, your deep learning training will be accelerated to a level that is almost incomprehensible. To be able to accelerate a particular application by 20, 30, 40 times is a very big impact. Whether it's education or startups, NVIDIA GPUs are now used by deep learning frameworks all over the world. Okay, so if you would, you're doing work in this area, whether you, you're training your network on a PC or in the cloud, you could ac access NVIDIA accelerated GPU frameworks all over the place.